All right, what we're going to be doing today is to construct this type of roof truss onto your sectional elevation. I've drawn out the sectional elevation over here for you. Um, what you're going to do first is to draw a line going across here, right the way across over here, from that point over there, all the way across to that point over there. And that's going to give you a reference point that you're going to measure the pitch of the roof on. Uh, your diagram uh, it says that it's a 25 um, degree pitch, so you measure off your 25 degrees over here. There's your 25 over there. And I'm going to draw in a line going from that corner over there at the outside of the wall, going up, just a construction line. Um, after that, what I'd suggest you do is just to find the center of your roof. Um, by taking a line at 30 degrees. I'm just going to use some blue ink over here so that you can get this idea. 30 degrees going that way. And noting the point that I start, 30 degrees going that way. That will bisect your line going across here and I can then find the center. All right, so there's the center. Once I've got the center over there, I can then take another line going back Another construction line going back over there, and that will give me the pitch of the roof 20 degrees going that way, uh, 25 degrees going that way, 25 degrees going that way. Right, once I've got that, you come to our diagram over here, and it says that the, um, all these tie beams and king posts um, and struts, etc., they are all 38 by 114. Okay, the distance 114 is this distance over here. Okay, and what we need to do is to make sure that we've got parallel lines going all over the place that have that 114. Okay, to start with, first of all, I'm going to draw in what they call a wall plate. Okay, so you just draw in a little block over there, a little block over there. Let's do that, and that, and you just draw a little X going through that block over there. Just a quick X going that way and that way. That is a little wooden block that the roof truss will lie on top of. Right, once you've got that in place, you can now draw a line going across over there. There we go. And I'm going to start out by saying 114 divided by my 25 scale will give me 4.56. Now that's very close to my four millimeters or my five millimeters. So I'm just gonna take a little circle over here, four millimeters, and I'm going to draw a construction line circle over there. And I'm going to draw a line going across just above it to give me that 4.5 millimeter story. Okay, so I've got my first piece of wood that I've got in there. I come to the center over here, I'm going to draw another little four millimeter diameter circle in that center, and I can now draw a line going up over here, and a line going up over there, right, giving me another piece of wood going to the top over there, and that's the king post that I've just drawn. Right, I need to draw a strut, now the strut needs to be done at the same angle as the roof, um, as the roof truss, so I've got that 25 degree angle. You can see that I've lined my ruler up there. I've lined just uh, my ruler. You can see that that is not uh, secured to the board. board. I'm going to slide that down, so I've got a line parallel, and I'm going to draw a line going in that direction over there. I'm going to do the same thing for this side over here. Take that from there. Slide that down to that corner over there. Draw a line coming out over there. I now take my little circle. I'm going to draw in a little circle over there, over there. Draw in my little circle over there. And I can now use my idea of getting a parallel line again. Slide it up and draw in that line going over there. Swing that round. Do a line coming up over here. Okay, once I've got that, 
I can now draw a line coming down from that intersection over there and that intersection over there. Once I've got that in place, same story, take my little circle, draw a little circle, come across over here, draw a little circle, and I draw a line coming down over there, a little down a circle coming down over there, and lastly I need to draw another little circle over there, another little circle over here, and I'm going to need to figure out how long that thing is, how long that piece of um, that rafter is over there. Um, where do I get that information from? Well, you'll have a plan view and it'll show you um, this dotted line going around over here. The distance from the outside wall to there will give me the distance of the, um, the overhang of the roof. Okay, so what I go over here, I'd measure that off so that I know exactly where to stop. Um, it's going to be somewhere over here. There it is. And I will just draw a little construction line going there. Measure it off over here, same story. Draw a little construction line going up over there. I can now draw in my roof truss. Going all the way down here. Slide it up. Drawing all the way up to the top over there. Same story over here. Draw that down, going all the way down over here. Slide it up. Draw that all the way going down over there. Okay, once I've got that, I have got what they call a fascia board. They will give the dimensions. I'm just going to guesstimate that dimension for my fascia board on that side. And I'm going to do another fascia board on this side. Same length. Okay, your fascia board. It's done, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, and once I've got that, um, what I need to do is to put in these, uh, these purlins. Now this textbook has this incorrectly. Those purlins need to lie flat. They don't lie in that orientation over there. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to knock nails into them. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get that 76 lying in that direction. All right, so they'll be flat, not vertical like that. Okay, 76 divided by um, your 25 gives you approximately three millimeters. Um, what you need to do is to also know how many you are going to use here. Um, there is a calculation uh, where they'll tell you how, how, how far they need to be spaced, um, but uh, normally they'll tell you how many they want in there. In this case, let's say that we've got four that need to be placed in here. I need one right at the top over here, and I'm just going to draw in my first one over there, three millimeters, and just draw a little X going through that. All right, measure it off nicely. It's 38, uh, 38 which is basically 1.5 millimeters going up, and then three millimeters going that way, which was my 76. Right, once I've got that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I need to divide this piece of wood into in this roof truss into four different uh, parts. So I draw a line coming out from that point over there. And I measure off four little spaces. One, two, three, four. I'm now going to take a line coming down to the end of the roof truss over here. There I go, from there to there. Keep that same angle and slide that back so that I can find the equal spacing of these different parts over here. All right, I've got five of them. It doesn't really matter. Okay, however many you need, just get them in there. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, I've got one at the top there as well. Right, on top of that, um, I need to put little crosses going through those. Just remember to do the little crosses going through these things. 
Okay, I haven't drawn this very accurately. I'm just trying to do this for some speed so that we don't have too much of a long video. Right, once I've got that, I'm going to draw a line on top of that, showing me the roof, um, whatever you've got on the roof as a covering. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. What I would suggest is you've got these pieces over here. You just take those across so that you know where they are, just like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay, and we can draw in the same story over there, the little crosses going through, same story over there, a little cross going through. There we go, just get them in as fast as you can. And there's one over there. And my roof covering going on top of that. Okay, going into the gutters over there. I then have a roof cap that I need to put on. Um, and I will end up with something that looks like this. Just knock that on there. All right. And knock that on there. All right, roof cap done. Um, the last thing that we need to do is to put in what they call the brand ring. Okay, they're little pieces of 38 by 38 little square pieces, so 38 by 38, so that's 1.5 millimeters, will be about over there, 1.5, you can see that I measured that very accurately, okay, there's the 1.5s, and they will tell you how many of those they need you to put in over here. Um, so let's say that you've got eight of them that need to go across there, I'm just going to do a line coming down over here, a construction line coming down over here. I take my pair of compasses and I mark off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, the line's never long enough. There we go. Right, once I've got that, I take my set square, I line it up on the other end over there. And I start out marking off. That's number one. Marking off all of those points as we go up here. I have to move that across so that I get that again. There we go. 